Last week, six amateur choirs took to the stage of the Hackney Empire and wowed the judges with their glorious sound of gospel. Now they're back to sing once again in their quest to become the Songs of Praise Gospel Choir of the Year. Josie and I are delighted to welcome you to the final of our gospel music competition. It's great to be here at the Hackney Empire in London. Our six choirs are ready, and we can promise you some amazing performances. By the end of the show, we'll know which choir will lift this wonderful trophy and be Songs of Praise Gospel Choir of the Year. I'm going to be backstage soaking up the atmosphere and getting the choir's reactions to their performances. So I better go and put this someplace safe. Now, Martin Luther King was a big fan of gospel music and said, as long as we live, there is never enough singing. I couldn't agree more. So here to lift us with their soulful sounds, we have, from London, the B.I.G. Choir. <laughs> from Coventry University, Gospel Rhythms. From Barking in Essex, Living Faith Connections. From the north of England, it's Onion. From East Sussex, it's Lewis Sings Gospel. And from right here in Hackney, it's Reaper's Choir. Last week, the choirs were described as moving, passionate, and uplifting. This week, they step up a level and perform to a specially composed backing track. Listening carefully to every note are our judges, so let's meet them. She's one of the most respected female soul singers with a career full of hit singles and albums. Please welcome Misha Paris. <laughs> Next, he's been described as the hottest worship leader to emerge from the UK. With his group River Songs, he was the first gospel act to sell out Indigo 2 at the O2 in London. It's Moiwa Olorewajo. <laughs> And finally, TV presenter, singer, and vocal coach to the stars. This lady knows all about harmonies as well as keeping our home harmonious. It's Cary Grant. <laughs> right, it's time to start singing. Our first choir to perform is the B.I.G. Choir from London. Here's a reminder of how they got on last week. Let them go. well and I think we're ready. Yeah, we've been really ramping rehearsals up in the last couple of weeks. Quietly confident maybe, yeah. Why did you choose Everybody Praise for, for today? The choir requested it and, and they love the song. It, it's a very uplifting song. Lots of smiles, lots of energy. We're hoping everybody's going to get up and feel the song with us. We're a team, we're a family. We didn't come here to lose, we came here to win. Children, take your place. Praise 
Misha, literally a big choir with some big voices, but does big equal good? Yeah, in this case, I thought they sounded fantastic. I love that song. I thought that song was... Moiwa, mm. well, for me, this worldview of ours expressed in gospel music uh, is, is one that's so beautiful that different people from different places can make one sound that sounds so beautiful, so much so that I hear it Praise the Lord, everybody praise the Lord. And my instinctive reaction is to stand up and raise my hands. Then I realize I'm on TV and just, okay, sit down, Mohiwa. Just keep your hand under your thighs, you know. <laughs> Carrie, the choir said they wanted to put the soul into choral music. Do you think they achieved that? I really do. I'm so shocked. I didn't know you were capable of that. That is not what we had last week. That's a, so much of a better song choice for you. There was the warm wraparound sound. I felt enveloped by those voices. Beautiful. Thank you, B.I.G. Choir. Wonderful, thank you. How is it for you? Thank you? I really just threw my hands into the air, opened my arm, heart to the audience, and I loved every minute of it. I, I said to the choir, let's just go out there, have a party on stage, just praise the Lord with all your heart, and, and I think they did that. Let's give ourselves a round of applause, because I think... <laughs> Next, we have a church choir who haven't had to travel far. They're from here in Hackney. It's Reaper's Choir. Oh, the rehearsals have gone really well. They've, they've worked their hardest, they've done their best. Whatever happens, happens. And we give glory to God. I mean, that's the main thing. This week, total praise. Total praise, yep. It's such an inspiring song. I mean, there are some songs that are written that are bound to lift you up. You can bring so much out from this song and touch somebody's life.
Reapers Choir, everyone. Now, Carrie, musically, that is a song traditionally undergirded by tenors. No tenors. Yes, yeah. So was it a good choice for the choir? Uh, well, I love the fact that you guys are so risky. You do, like, the hardest stuff. <laughs> Did you pull it off? I think that song is so well known with the big shouty tenors in there that it, even though it was absolutely brilliant, I was still going, I need to hear some guys in that tenor section. Uh, sorry. But they disagree with me. They, disagree, so they really do disagree with you. That's fine. <laughs> Misha, what do you think? I was getting goosebumps every time they got up. Oh, and down. So you were feeling it? I really felt that. I didn't miss the voices of males not being there because it was so moving. I was moved. Boy, boy. I asked the question, do I believe what they say? They certainly believed, yeah. and I have to say, I'm a believer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Reaper's Choir! We're really grateful for all the comments and the only critique that we had was something that we can't do anything about. We can't turn ourselves into men. <laughs> so we'll just keep doing the best we can. Mercy, Misha said you gave her goosebumps. Yes, we did. And we're so glad that we actually went out there, gave it our best. Yay! <laughs> Time now for our smallest choir. They're a group of just eight singers from the north of England. It's Anya. What does it mean to you to be in this competition with your choir? It means a great deal. It's a fantastic platform for the sharing of faith in gospel music. You Called Me Friend is the song you're doing today. What does that song mean to you? It's talking about the relationship that we have with Christ. He's calling us friend and it's just brilliant to sing. It's brilliant to say to everyone, he'll be your friend too. 